The last type of graph we're asked to make here is a line chart. Line charts always characterized by having time along the x-axis and having some quantity that you're measuring along the y-axis. In this case, a personal trainer asks his client to record his weight on the first day of every month. So in this case, our time is going to be listed in months, and what we're going to be measuring is the weight that's going to go on the y-axis. There's a little bit of debate on whether you would want to condense the axis here. I'm going to do it so that we can zoom in and focus on the part that we talk about, but there are some books that would say that compressing the vertical axis isn't necessarily something you should do because it gives a false meaning of how much movement there is at the top. I tend to believe that I'd rather not have all this blank space in my graph knowing that everything is between 195 and 215. So what I'm going to do is draw the regular axis here with a little squiggle. That little squiggle is just telling me that we're not starting at zero. So really, here would be zero. I'm going to start at 190 and go up by fives. I want to make sure that I have a label here. So I want to put weight in pounds. Then I want to go along and put the dates in. So I'm going to start. My first date's going to be May. Then June. July. August. September. October. Before I connect the lines, I want to put dots at each data point. So in May, the weight was 215. I'm going to put a data point there at 215. In June, it was 205. In July, it was 202. In August, it was 197. In September, it was 198. And in October, it was 195. Once you've got those points in, each of the data points, you treat it like connect the dots. You want to draw a straight line from each data point to the next. So here's May to June. Here's June to July. July to August. August to September. And then September to October. This would be a correct version of a line chart that would go along with this data. I could then ask things like, what's the general trend in the data? The general trend here is that the weight is decreasing as time increases. If I ask something like, between what two months was there an increase in weight? The answer would be between August and September. Note that there is a slight upward tick there to represent the 197 to 198. Again, I'm not getting out of rule or trying to make everything perfect, but I do need to make sure that if this data point is larger than that one, it does appear to be higher up on the scale. 